Tiger Platt, 157 Coolidge Avenue, FSEC, and I represent the Firefighters Union. Uh, Bob Suey just had a great idea. He'd probably save some money if you turn the air down a little bit in this room. <laughs> um, there's so many things I need to address at this microphone. Um, obviously, five minutes isn't going to do it. First thing I want to address is what happened two weeks ago at this meeting. Um, I appreciate Fred for stepping in and stopping it. It should have been stopped well before it started. Um, I OPA requested, Frank, your exact OPA request. And I went through the stack of papers, and ironically, this, the information that was handed out at that meeting was not included. Um, I went to the city clerk with the paper and said, where did this document come from? She said, I did not release it. So with that being said, that document that was passed out at the last meeting was obtained through the city, but not through an OPA request. So it was obtained some other way. Uh, so the comments that I did make, Frank, uh, publicly, uh, I have, you know, sent that to my attorney for review. Um, the comments that were made about captains meeting with a grieving widow for overtime is disgusting, first of all, that somebody would bring that up. We were ordered in that day by the city manager the day after Jim passed. We were ordered to be in her office that morning, 9 o'clock. I would like to respond to that. Um, that's not true. I was at the hospital with you, and I wanted the captains to come up with who would want to be the acting chief. I said I'd support all of that. You said that you'd be in the office the next day, all four of you. I never ordered the four captains in. That could have been done through a telephone conversation. Okay. I certainly wasn't told that you demanded overtime to meet with me. 